so sorry welcome welcome back uh, there was a break and so uh, I'm talking about uh, financial education for entrepreneurs and I'll continue I started by saying that uh, you have to have the financials right if, if, if the financial data right if you want to become an entrepreneur or if you're in business most of us our struggles come from how we handle the finances you know and uh, if our finances are struggling almost every aspect of the business uh, will continue to struggle and we handle the business money as we understand money so if you don't know better we will not be able to do better you know so the moment we get the right do data then you probably you'll be able to start to make the right decisions uh, with the finances of the business and so I, I said that the first one I said that uh, people who have the wrong understanding of money uh, entrepreneurs, uh, they, they, they don't pay the, the people they owe. They, they they treat debt as something that they have to run away from, you know. So if, if you're like that, then you're going to struggle with money because then your character is a problem. You know? And money usually is a character problem. So if your character is right, if your work ethics are right, if you have the right data, maybe you may not be a billionaire. Maybe you may not be a millionaire, but you will be able to have your finances right uh, with the business. You know, because then you you, you are trying to uh, push yourself to the best of practice. So I'm saying that uh, the first one is the people who would have to have their business finances rightly uh, set will be the people who don't run away from their debt. If you owe suppliers, workers, you know, people you have had agreement with, uh, you make sure that you honor your word, you honor your part. It's a fair sign that you are a person of your word, or a person of value. You know, and for me, it, 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 it's a sign that your life is, is organized, your life is regimented. You know, you have some things, you have the right values because money, uh, unless you're stealing it, unless you are selling other things, unless you're doing some illegals, if you see anybody who has done well with finances, uh, especially entrepreneurs, it's likely that they have the other things were thought out uh, with regard to money. You know, so, and, and, and if they say come, they say come. You know, if they say I can make the payment tomorrow, you, when you go to meet them, the payment is going to be made tomorrow. If they cannot do it, they will tell you I can do it. They don't give you the check and tell you don't go to the next day. You know, they are trying, they try. And it's not something that they were born with, it's something that they train themselves to practice like that. And if you see anybody who gives you check and he follows through in class, First one, second one, third one, follow them and see. Most of those people are very much organized with their finances. And so you will see it in the way the business is handled, the way the business is operated. You know, because the person uh, leading the business, uh, the entrepreneur, uh, has some things rightly uh, thought out. You know, so uh, they don't run away from their debt. They, their name is very much important to them. You meet a lot of people, uh, they raise themselves, they talk so much, then when it comes to the action, they run away. <laughs> and they will come with Land Cruiser or Jaro, Jeep. They will, they will show you all the people that they know in the country. They will tell you all. They will blow their house. But when it comes to the money, uh, it's trouble. <laughs> it means there is more to it. There is, they, they don't have a lot of things organized well. So the, for you as an entrepreneur to have your things organized and, and arranged well, make sure that you hold yourself uh, to the higher standards. You, know, you, don't, you don't run away. When there's trouble, you don't run away from the debt, you don't run away from the money, you hold yourself high. Hmm? You pay your debt, you honor your word. That is a clear sign that you really understand money. You know, but if you, you don't do that, you're just showing sure enough. <laughs> and eventually it catch it will catch up with us, you know. It will catch up with us. Money is is like litmus paper. <laughs> it will show, it will prove. You know, it is more dangerous than COVID-19. <laughs> to prove, it it is the it is the decider. It is it is it proves what you are made of. You know how how you handle the money. So don't run away from the money. And the other thing is that I've said that people who are able to put their money rightly, especially entrepreneurs, they are people who are there to. Sometimes they will do a lot of things for free because they want access, because they want uh, the relationship, because they want the network. If you just go with the, with the thing holding that nobody can cheat me, nobody can lie to me, and, uh, give me my due, I've, you know, those kind of characteristics, they will give you. I've had boys who come to work with me, they come, you can see, this good guy, he works well, but when it comes to the money, you, can, you don't want to deal with them again. 
Why? Because they will pester you, they will do they, they don't trust people, they, they are apprehensive. Some people you can work with them for five years and every time they are doubting your integrity. If you carry that kind of characteristics, uh, you will have problem with money. You have problem with money. Because one thing about people who have who have been able to build business and have been able to control their money, you know, they they, they, they have people that they can trust. You should be able to get to a point where you trust somebody, especially people you do business with, you know. So the next one is that you don't have to be extremely selfish. Everything does not have to run around you. <laughs> don't put everything. When it comes to money, don't put all your interests at the number one position. Until you pay yourself, nobody is going to be paid. People are not that stupid. They look at how you treat them. You know, they look at how you treat them. So uh, treat people fairly. That is a good sign that you, you probably have your finances uh, right. If you if you cheat everybody, you don't understand money. You don't understand. Money. So you you would have to uh, reverse it, and that's why people who behave like that, they are the ones who always cutting corners. They, you know, it doesn't matter their name that you hear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you really go and look within, you see that the, it, the revenue is not realistic. It's all kind of things. <laughs> it's all kind of things because the basic foundations or the basic fundamentals. Uh, may not be there you know so you have got to have if you struggle with money all the time as an entrepreneur it means it's likely that your data is wrong your money data is wrong your financial data is wrong your understanding of money is wrong that's why you be you, you are always in trouble every day you are giving promises you can you can contain you are taking laws that you can survive the interest you are giving promises and you know that you're, you know you are giving check and the money is not in your account <laughs> Because your money data is wrong. No, you are negotiating on things, on promises. Don't give check when the money is not in the account. Make sure the money is in the account and you give the check. That way, you won't say that, oh, I was spending the money and it didn't come, so then sign the check. You, know? you can always fight fairly. You know, tell the person once the money hits the account, then I give the check. Don't kill him. You know, so then you, you hold, you respect the other party. Respect the other party. So you don't go and give the check and act as if you have money and roll your car keys and you know that it's not going to clear. Don't take people for granted like that. Because my few interactions with people who are running businesses, who are always going through a lot of problems, is that their ego is high. And they are, they are so much obsessed with making impressions when they don't have to. You know. So if you can carry yourself like that, you'll be fine. And that is coming from wrong financial data, wrong money data. Because a lot of people think that if they have money, then they have to show it. <laughs> so they have to show you with a with car, with a house, you know, with the girlfriends, with the big office, and they can pay the salary. It doesn't worth it. You are running a business. That's all. A lot of the errors that we made with our businesses, a lot of them had to do with the money. And a lot of them had to do with the wrong decisions that we made with the money. The loans, the necessary things that you didn't have to buy, but you bought them. The, 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 the hype, the payments that you were making that you didn't pay attention. You know, those things. You didn't sit down to do the calculations well because you are the boss. <laughs> and then when nothing is in the account, then you will see that you are not the boss. <laughs> you are not the boss. So make the right decisions. Always think through uh, the payment project where project where and it comes from the right financial data you know you don't have to employ the other person if you can pay the salary people will come and plead don't listen to them because when they are there and the month comes to an end they will ask you for pay and if you don't if you can't pay they will they will act as if they were not the ones who came to ask you to give them a job. They will insult you, they will fight you. So hold yourself. You don't have to be emotional about this. You have to be fair. If you can pay the salary that they're asking, tell them what you can pay. And if they like, they accept. If they don't like, they move. You can always get somebody who will be glad to work with you. I've seen that the best people to work with are people who are grateful to work with you. People who are thankful to take the salary that you're giving. Those who think you are paying them little. Those who think they are better than the position that you have given them. Those who think they are better than the business that you have. You don't need to keep them. 
because they are the ones that who are going to always give you the trouble you know and most of us because we are good people we are emotional you know when it comes to money <laughs> the person you think is an idiot is not that idiot no when their money is with you they are very wise they will speak with you they will speak to you like you are, you are, you are, you are, forget about respect you know, so do your math well. Do your calculations well. Don't take on people that you can pay. Look, always look at the number of people you're working with and look at what they are bringing in. If what they are bringing in is not much, then you may have to take the bullet. You know, you may have to be strong and say what you have to say. Always project well. You can't finish everything that comes in a month and wait for the next one. You must always have something for the trouble time, you know, and it comes with money. It comes with business. You can't, you can't predict everything as, as accurately as, you know, because you're not gone. But there are some things that you can have them, um, you know, a, a bit uh, clearly, uh, clearly thought out. And that will be the salary. It's a drive. You know, you pay people. You pay people. Always make sure that your business can handle what you pay. Or the people you pay are able to bring in more to cater for that which you have to pay. To them. So wrong data is also one thing. The other thing is maybe a lot of us also business people, a lot of us struggle with our business and with the finances because we are listening to the wrong teachers. A lot of a lot of guys are teaching us about financial something something, and uh, <laughs> and they they have to wait for the one that we give them before they have money. You know, they are giving you all kind of financial data, and the only thing that they they get money from is when they talk to you. When the seminar, that's where they get the money. It's from the book, that's where they get the money. They are the understand money, you know. Some of them, they, they are on salary, they are teaching you how to run your business and how to organize your, uh, your finances well. Listen to the people who have done it, who have gone through it, so that you can equip yourself and make your own decisions. You know, a lot of, especially in our country, people who <laughs> have never done business are teaching us how to run business. And that's why most business people struggle because they don't listen to the people with the right information people who have done it you know even if they have done it they may not be in your own situation but at least they will come close but you see <laughs> people is only teaching people how to do business uh, I, I don't believe in that I, I hardly, there will be one or two things that they will say that you probably will hear but I, a lot of the times i will spend time listening to people who are doing the things that who, who are doing the things that they are talking about they practice what they teach. So get the right teachers and get the right information. If you don't do that, uh, it will be tough for you because then you believe that you know everything and yet it's not working. And if it's not working after a while, it shows that what you know doesn't work. That is a fact. If there's problem everywhere and you can solve them and it's consistent, it's sustained, it's protracted, it's protracted. it means that you don't understand it. It means that the data you have is wrong and most people never question what they know because we so much believe that what we know is right and yet we don't get the results and if the results is not coming i would rather go and look and question what i know and i will question uh, those who have taught me what i know you know so i'm talking about financial education for entrepreneurs and a lot of us also think that one day one day we will, we will win a little or one day, one day, God will make us rich. Or one day, one day, somebody will come from nowhere and give us money. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it will happen. But I think people, when you're running a business, and you have salary to pay, you have supplies to pay, you have electricity to pay, you have all the other things to pay, you do not leave the future of your business to chances, to luck. You don't leave it like that. You don't leave it to hope and hope that things will work out. That is dangerous. You must make sure that what you are doing, you can predict it, especially with the finances. Don't leave it to Lotto. I've never seen anybody who has become rich just by taking Lotto or by a miracle. Consistently, no. It's something that they do well. They are, there's something that they know. They understand the business. They understand the product. They get a lot of things right. That's why they have the finances right, you know. So, uh don't leave it to chances. Don't leave it to Lotto. Don't leave it to miracles. We are, we, I know we are very religious people, but money has a lot to do with miracles and Lotto and chance and hope. It has a lot to do with the right data 
and applying the data. The right kind of financial information and applying them. That's why people become rich. You know, it's not. Really. <laughs> and the other thing is that some, some people, some business people never believe that they deserve to have a big, a successful business, which is profitable. There's a lot of, because of the background that they come from. Some people come from so much uh, difficult background that they, they don't think that they deserve themselves. So they have not solved it subconsciously. They still see themselves as very poor people. So they are very happy with very little. And they cannot see themselves as people who can control a lot. And that can be something that can stop a lot of people from uh, having the right kind of finances uh, for the business. Because they always see themselves as, ah, nipa, baby, I'm free now. <laughs> and baby, I'm a baby, do need it. So and be grateful, be thankful, be content, but go. You know, there's nothing. You are grateful with every age. You are 40 today, you're happy, but you're still growing, you know. So be your content. You're, you're content with what you have. You are not jealous. You're not, you're not grateful. But then you still want to grow. And that should be the psyche. That should be the mindset. So you deserve to be rich. Nobody deserves not to be rich. You deserve to be rich. You deserve to have a, a very successful business. You deserve to have, you deserve to be the, 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 you know, the biggest. You deserve to own the biggest business in our country. Why? The people who own this, they are not better than us. So cut that in your head. That you deserve to be among the best. You deserve to be among the greatest, the biggest. You know, don't cut yourself so small, so little. And think that, you know, Kenya is like that. <laughs> don't believe in those things. Grow. You know, growth takes care of pain. So don't struggle with a little. And you have to subconsciously uh, break that through. And uh, some of us also, uh, too much school, too much school, too much degrees can affect our business. You have people who are doing well in their business and the next day they want to stop it and go to school and go and get something and come back, you know. <laughs> because for us to get degrees is, I don't know what the British put in those days at the school. The Africans are so much addicted to book. As if you don't even pay the school fees. Somebody is struggling. The business is struggling, yet they will take money from the business to go and get a second degree. I don't, I don't understand. To go and, and go and get the knowledge. Uh, when the business is doing so well that you have a, a lot of assets, maybe go and do that. You know? But I don't think you're going to get third degree, second degree, fourth degree with a struggling business that you are not collapsing uh, you think that once you finish with the degree and you come back your business will explode i don't i doubt i doubt because the guys who are teaching you there uh, they are waiting for the salary don't forget that <laughs> because if you <laughs> if they had a lot do you think they will be teaching there most of them will not be teaching them. most of them they teach there because they want the salary you know so it's good it's academic but it, it, that knowledge is not going to come and transform your business like that. So if it's a struggling business, if it's a family that you're struggling with, don't take the money that you have, go and get another second degree or PhD or things like that. And then you come back, you don't even know what to do with it. Because most people think that once they add a lot of degrees, then they, they when they come, they'll be paid better. That is not true. That is seriously not true. Once in a while, somebody will be paid a little better. But nobody becomes wealthy, rich, because they went for second degree. Or third degree. That is not true. You may get a big government position or big corporate position or something like that, you know, but not rich. Not not come back to build the business and move the business from one million a year to ten million or twenty million or fifty million a year just because you went for MBA or something like that. No, that's not true. It will expand you, but you still <laughs> you still have to do the work. So don't 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 struck. Don't what's the English word? Don't don't mean chin business, you know. Don't 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 twist the neck of the business with the you know, with the, I don't know the English, but <laughs> don't don't frustrate the business finances. The, the, the business that is struggling, you frustrate the finances to go to get another degree because we are addicted to school, and that's a fact. We are addicted to it. so a lot of us have mortgaged our future to get a lot of degrees, and yet we have nothing for the future. You know, and finances play a major role as you grow, as your business, as an entrepreneur, yes. So make sure if you're taking any money from the business to go and get something, the business will still be uh, okay. The business finances will still be stable if you take that money out. But if 10000 is coming in and you take that 10000 to go to school, you'll kill the business. And yet a lot of people believe that. A lot of, I don't know. The best form of education as an entrepreneur is not in the classroom. 
The best form of education as an entrepreneur is the one that you're giving yourself, the books that you're reading, the videos that you're watching, the topics that you're, the people that you're talking to, the mentors that you're talking to, the people who are doing it in an environment, in the industry that you are. That is the best form of education that you've got, not the MBA. The MBA, you can do it for fun. The PhD, you can do it for fun if you want, you know, but to get the results and to grow and to, and to, and to make sure the business grows, that one uh, is got to do with you than you going to school. So don't take all the money and go to school and think that once you finish the school and you come back, you'll be rich. Yeah, that's a lie. If you don't know, go and talk to the people who went before you. You know, so uh, my name is Obidako and I'm concluding. I'm saying that uh, financial education for entrepreneurs, financial education for entrepreneurs. And a lot of us have been programmed wrongly. The world has programmed a lot of people. The Africans have been stock market to depend on mortgage, to depend on loans, to buy houses, cars, to depend on loan to, 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 to have a wedding or to, to bury their father. That's it, you know, because they, they've been, it's, it's another form of slavery. That's a fact, you know, it's, it's economic slavery. If you live anywhere in the world, majority, 99% of the people are in bondage because of the system and it's a program. So they send you through school, they give you loan and once you and once you finish the school, you have to spend another uh, 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 whatever years to pay the student loan for a course that will not even raise your salary, you know. And uh, they will give you loan to buy a house and use 10, 20 years to pay. They pay you a little. They expect you to drive a very nice car on loan. It's all. And then you, you go and give birth, another trouble, you know. You have to take care of the children. You send them to school. That is money that they don't have. That is the... You come here too, we've been programmed to wait for God to give us money, you know, <laughs> to wait for God. So you have been to school, you don't want to go and learn how to sell anything. You just, you know, you have been to school. So you have to wait for the government to give you a job, big position. So a lot of our big people in our country, you have to depend on the government. You know, a lot of the people we call big, not all the other depend on the government, you know. So if you carry that kind of information into business, you will fail. Or you have to become a crook uh, to keep to get money, you know. So uh, it's a tough thing, but everybody can educate themselves. So once you can, nobody can keep you in, in in bondage if you start to know what is really the situation. You know, once you once you get the right information, uh, your your mind will be transformed, and you start to believe in yourself. You start to believe that you have what it takes to bet your life, you know, and that God did not put your destiny in another man's hands. So you take care of your thought, you take care of your time, and you take care of your finances. Those things, you are responsible, not another man. Never depend on anybody for your thought, for how you handle your time, and for how you handle your money. Once the money comes to your hand, the decision is to make the money. Grow or to lose it is yours. You know? And as, a, as an entrepreneur, it's the same thing. You need that. You need that kind of mindset. You need that kind of thinking. You need kind, that kind of worldview. You know? So don't so much. A lot of people are so much hooked to, you know, people who, you know, we worship, we worship them, we worship them. We worship uh, uh, musicians, sports people, politicians, chiefs, we worship them. And we then we pack our lives somewhere. That's why most people struggle. If you're doing business and you want it to succeed, make sure you pay attention. Get the right form of information. Get the right data. Because until you know, it won't work. Until you know, what you're doing with your business in terms of the finances is not going to work. And if it's not working, it's not demon, it's not satan, it's not anybody throwing anything against you. It's the knowledge that you don't have. It's the ignorance. And if you have the if you have the knowledge, then you must practice the knowledge. You know. So a lot of us have been programmed wrongly. That's why we struggle. And your business is going to struggle so long as your mind is wrongly programmed. You know. <laughs> and once you get the right data can reprogram your mind and you can see that things start to work it doesn't have to be frustrating all your life if the business you have done it for 10 years 15 years 20 years and it's still very frustrating you're still at the basic level no there's something that you don't know it could be that you are in wrong business it could be that you don't understand how to handle the money it could be that you are not developing yourself as you're supposed to develop you're not searching much you're not building the right skills to build a business you probably are not aware of it that's why the business is struggling you know, and all of us go through that phase. But it gets to a point you must know better and you must practice better. So uh, my name is Obed Dako, and uh, I want to say I thank you very much uh, for watching. And so uh, you may share the video.
with others because uh, we can only do better when you know better. The only thing that controls all of us is ignorance. Once we don't know, then we don't know. If you're in darkness, you can see. But once there's light, you can see whatever is in the room. You know, and knowledge uh, is that light. The right knowledge deliberates. The right knowledge will bring you growth. The right knowledge will bring you rest. The right knowledge will bring you skill. The right knowledge will bring you confidence. You know, you start to believe that you can do something. The right knowledge will, will lift you to the next level. The right knowledge will bring you happiness, joy. The right knowledge will help you to build. It doesn't matter the frustration, the positions that come. If you have the right knowledge, you will never give up. Because then you have what it takes, you know. So knowledge is supreme. That's why the good book says that without knowledge, my people, you know, perish. Without knowledge. So knowledge is that light. And so financial knowledge is that key. Financial education is that key for an entrepreneur. If you don't get the right financial knowledge, you are going to go through a lot of problems. You know, and most people don't ever bother to build their mind, to build themselves, to get the right information to build a business. You know, so most people think that they can have fun. Behave like everybody else. I still build a successful business. I doubt it. I doubt it. I think that if you are not having, uh, some people have have a very good start. Maybe their parents. So you see, foreigners come to your country. He comes with nothing. Five years time, he has a big business and is employing the locals. He came with nothing, and five years time, he's employed our people. But a lot of them don't even come with money. Why? Because they had something. They knew something, and they were not playing. You know, they are not listening to political talk shows four hours, five hours every day when you are building business, you know, <laughs> or they're watching or they're watching football or something like that. Africa is, uh, we have to back up. We really have to back up and we need the young generation to think as such. So thank you uh, very much for watching. Uh, develop your mind, develop your financial uh, education, build it up, lift it up, because without it, your business will struggle forever. You know, so I thank you. Uh, for watching.